Hey everyone, Iron Toes, and I'm going to show you several ways to take care of the Human Torch in Marvel's Contest of Champions. The first example I have to show you is Archangel. Now, anybody that both bleeds and can be poisoned is a target for Archangel. Um, the main thing you need to know about the Human Torch is that you, first of all, you do not want to bring a Mystic. You will get trashed instantly. Um, and secondly, you want to only use physical attacks if you can, not energy attacks. Energy attacks will cause his smolder counters to build, and the more smolder counters he has, uh, the more likely you are to get an incinerate which when you have one incinerate it causes you to have a higher chance to get more incinerates and if you're not incinerate immune you will get trashed so again uh probably the best counter as long as he's not bleed immune or poison immune is archangel because once you get those uh, poisons and then neurotoxins going it just it just drains them real fast and you can see in this example here um so that's archangel always always archangel if they bleed and poison so piece of cake The second example I'm going to show you is with Void. Um, the reason is, is because he is not Mystic for one, and he is also Incinerate immune. So if you have trouble avoiding his specials, the Human Torch's specials, um, if you block them, especially at the end, he will get a Smolder counter, and of course those Smolder counters will give you Incinerates. So an Incinerate will allow you to block specials um, if your champion is strong enough, if your champion is strong enough to take a lot of blocks, then I would go with an Incinerate Immune. So Void, um, Iceman, I suppose you could try to do it with somebody that, that shakes it, like Agent Venom, Kingpin, Crossbone, something like that. But better just to go with an actual Immune. Um, of course, if you are going to try to evade his specials, try to actually get it done there. Not like that. <laughs> Um, as far as the specials are concerned, uh, I find the second one, his special two, to be easier to evade. You basically wait for him to, you, you dash out of the way when he goes up for his little punch uh, into the air. And then as soon as he starts that um, flying towards you, I guess, on that second go around, um, dash back, I think, three times and you'll get out of it. So here it goes. I kind of try and get out of him here. Not parry, but special. Let's see here. There he goes, and then back. See, I personally find that easier to evade uh, than his special one. It seems like the special one, there's there's a slight delay in between the second and third dash back, and I miss it a lot of times, so I find the second one easier. So go for that. Um, and then this, uh, here we go, this is just about the end of this one with Void, but he's got all those debuffs now, which is helpful. Of course, now they're all gone. There's that special two again, evading. See, he's got nine of those smolder charges now, but if you're not worried about it, um, with uh, incinerate immune it really doesn't even matter now you don't want to get him to turn into that nova mode but generally the fight seems to be over before that so that is uh, void as another uh, example of somebody to use and finally if you don't have incinerate immune or archangel you can just give this guy a straight beat down remember no mystic um, you just want to avoid energy attacks. Now, Star-Lord does have an energy attack, his special two, the laser beam, and his special three also, but if you can if you can avoid using that, that'd be great. I think I end up doing it in this fight, but um, <clears throat> yeah, the gist of it is uh, parry and bash, and I try to push him to his special two. It doesn't always work. Um, if you do need to try to avoid that special one, as long as it's not unblockable, you can. I find it easier to block those first two fireballs and then dash back for the last fireball and then that flame, I don't know, torch thing. <clears throat> See? See, if you have distance on his special one, I think you can stay far enough away to where timing doesn't matter, but, you know, that's kind of tough. Uh, let's see, special one there to kind of avoid the energy attack. Let's see if we can dodge his special two here. Let's see if we can get it out of him first. There it is. It's unblockable. Uh, see, I just... Okay, I didn't dodge it there, but you see he's got that smolder charge now. So now, luckily it's Star-Lord and the battle's almost over. I can probably... Yeah, I can finish before I get incinerated. 
So that's um, that's the gist of the beatdown. Avoid energy attacks. Of course, I didn't really do a good job that one. But anyway, and the last one I'll show you is just another version of the beatdown, which is Gamora. Um, so these are not the final boss in the epic mode difficulty, but if you can beat this guy that is in the um, the negative zone quests or or the ones that are kind of midway through the very last level, I mean, once you can get the hang of Human Torch, that that last boss in epic is is not really all that special. <clears throat> as far as the buffs go. So let's see, we're gonna we're gonna have to dodge a special one there. See the distance helps. I don't think I evade all of them in this fight, but yeah, see. Uh, there's a little it's that weird little delay between the second and third fireball he shoots at you. Which is why, like I said, go to special two if you can. <clears throat> also the special two is easier to counter if you do evade. I find that um, a lot of times you're just lucky to get the counter attack if you evade the special one because you'll, you'll be lucky if you know uh, you accidentally pull off an intercept or he dashes back. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you, sometimes he intercepts you, so or blocks. Let's see that special too. Much better uh, and much easier to counter. So luckily, um, you know it's nice that uh, there are some counters for the Human Torch to make it easier. Like I said, anything that'll bleed and poison, or both, like the Archangel or Incinerate Immune, helps you get through it. But I like the fact that um, you can basically use anybody avoiding energy attacks. So, anyway, that's the gist of it. Uh, my recommendations: Archangel, obviously, and then uh, <clears throat> and then down from there, um, Evade Special Two, get the hang of that, and uh, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps. I'm um, seeing how that gameplay works. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.